I was born and raised in Benjia province in a normal family with my two brothers. My life was struggled physically and mentally when my parents broke up. And then after that, my mom left to friend to work, to find a better job, to find better financial support for her three children in Vietnam. With all her heart, she's my inspiration. And because of that, I became sister, friend, and the mother of my little brother. So that's why I forced myself for so long since I was 12 to be stronger, to be good, so my family would be proud of me. My pageantry dream came when I was 15 years old, when my older brother worked as a makeup artist for beauty pageant. I still remember that day, I was 15 years old, sitting on the TV, and I see I holding the Nokia phone, keep voting for Miss Vietnam who joined Miss Earth 2010. When I see, when I saw all the beautiful women walking on the stage confidently and proudly with the country sash on their chest, I cry into tears. And I wish that one day I could have that beauty, that intelligence, that confidence, and that honor to represent my country. But you know that is just a dream for 15 years old girl because that day I still a shy, lack of confidence and a victim of body shaming as I was bad before. So that's why I have um, the eating disorder, bulimia. And then moving on, one thing I'm pretty proud of myself that I always study, learning. So when I was 21 years old, I moved to Singapore to study with a dream just to find a job, so to have a normal income to support my family. Many days eating noodles, and during that time, I selling clothes, book to make income. Many times, I have to move from smaller to smaller place to live in. During that time, the most valuable thing for me is my computer. But some of the people that I know sneak in my room and steal it. I remember that day I cried a lot and I walked nearly 10 kilometers to Marina Bay Sand. I don't even remember how many hours I sat there. I looked at the sky, I looked at the city light, and I asked myself, who am I? Where will I go? What's in the future that heaven written for me? And on that day, I promised myself that five years from now, my life will change. My life will be different. My voice will be heard, and my hand can help all the people. And just as a destiny, on 2017, one of my friends joined to a local beauty pageant, and um, she asked me to come and uh, to support her. So I came there, and luckily I won the second runner up. Um, that's how I got a ticket to the Philippines for Miss Earth 2018. You know, because before, most of the time I spent it just for university. So I didn't have the time to train for cat work for performance skill. But I believe in myself. I believe with whatever I've learned in university, maybe I can make miracle happen. And on the 3rd of November in 2018, I was crowned as the winner of Miss Earth 2018 beauty pageant and the first Vietnamese woman who brought the international crowd back to Vietnam. Winning Miss Earth opened for me, opened for me a lot of opportunity. In 2019, I traveled to 11 countries to fulfill my duty, worked with a lot of environmental projects community support with many countries and organizations. I became an influencer, environmentalist, and also help young people to, with positive support for their emotion, make them, make them feel more confident. But you know, like, most of people think when you have your achievement and your success, is everything, 
is already enough for you to enjoy your life because all the doors open for you. You will be successful forever in your life, but actually it's not. That is just the first mountain for you to conquer. There's high mountain. There are harder challenges. And that is how life is. So instead of keep worrying about what will come tomorrow, I decide to make every move count. So in 2020, and the COVID happened, so I could not do anything and also work with uh, international work. And then uh, I decided to, to learn uh, courses and also embroidery and using social media as a platform to help other people and reach more people as well. And in 2001, I became top four of the most influential Miss Earth in the history. And also I have my first start of for embroidery um, brand. Everybody in life have their mountain to climb. Everyone have different journeys. But the struggle, the challenge is always there. The more you have been through, the stronger you will become. There are five things that I always believe in my life. And it's helped me to become more stable and stronger every step I go. The first thing is to be patient. Why you have to be patient? When you have so many in life look so easy for you, why you have to be patient? Because life, your life is a long road and success will never come easy. So every day you learn, you improve yourself, you get more skill, more knowledge, but you have to wait for the right time, the right moment, the right place for you to shine. So just learn, work harder, keep experience. Maybe you one day you can use everything that you have experienced, help you to shine even brighter, more success. The second thing is to be optimistic. How many times when bad things happen to you, you feel down, you believe to yourself, you compare yourself with other people's success? I did that many times. And one day I just realized it didn't help me. So instead of doing this, try to be optimistic. Try to believe in yourself. Try to be positive. Sometimes people say that you should not be positive, but actually, being positive is a key word for me to get through of the hard time. And I hope that every time, whenever you feel down, just look at some good side of... Because one, when things happen, there's always two phases. Look at the good phase. You will feel that maybe that's a lesson for you. Maybe sometimes that bad thing happen, it just the test for you, if you qualify enough for the success, for the achievement. The third thing is to be resilient. Why? It sounds like so hard, but actually it's kind of easy for me because just look back when you were young as a child, how, when you learn how to make your first step, how many times have you failed? How many times you want to hold your mother and cry? But you have to look at the, this angle. How many times you stand up by yourself? That's how resilient you are, seeing you as a child. So that's how easy it is. So when you grow up, you will be more aware of everything that happened around you. So that's why it keep make you feel like you are not strong enough. But actually, you are stronger than everything happened to you. So instead of keep focusing on the hard thing, just focusing how to improve yourself, to defeat it. And the first thing is to be kind. On the way to the top of the mountain, how many times you meet unkind people, how many times you meet all the bad things, sometimes it looks like nothing happens for you. So for me, actually everything happened around you, it's just a distraction who you are. So instead of keep worrying like how pe why people keep keep doing this to you, just be kind. 
and thus is the only way you treat yourself good enough and thus is the way how you treat yourself to be kinder and the la last but not least is the process is matter for me sometimes achievement and success is not the thing that defines you but actually the process there sometimes you become success but the next day you can be the failure so the process is actually the thing that defines who you are and i have to say that looking back the girl with lack of confidence the girl with no hope especially she tried her best and always believe in herself actually the one that gave me the achievement actually the one that gave me the crown so i want to treasure her because without the girl with no confidence i will not be here today and also everything she learned every mistake she made every step she goes make me today so i want to treasure her and i want to say thank with fun Han five years ago who were crying in front of my marina bay sand and uh, i hope that my story my experience everything that i've learned that i share with you today maybe will help you feel a little bit more positive a little bit like uh, encouragement for you in your journey because that's a long road and every step counts Whenever you feel down, just repeat this sentence like I always do whenever I feel really negative. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect, but I try my best every single day. I deserve this journey and nothing can beat me. I am stronger than whatever happened to me. Thank you, love you, thank you.